I'm going to share some data on the up-to-date job market laid off earnings for a lot of these tech companies that's been laid off the companies that are hiring for remote opportunities If you are new to my channel, my name is Holly. I am a leadership career coach. I spent a lot of the years working for the tech companies such as Amazon, Google. So if you're truly new guys, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. I think because of a lot of the laid off or downsizing, a lot of the mid-size or large organizations are considering more and more so the fact of remote job, okay? So to start, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and other tech companies have laid off more than 70,000 employees in the last year, which is 2022. We'll talk about, there are actually two employers within the Fang family that's doing pretty well right now still. We'll get to that in a second, okay? Alphabet, Google cut 12,000 jobs. Alphabet, Google is really the same company, right? Alphabet is more of their research and development. I could be wrong, but the last time I checked, that is the case. For the Google layoff, it, it does have something or some to do with their advertising sales. So Google generate the revenue primarily through ads. There's information about Microsoft that did, uh, laid off 10,000 workers through March. The company is also taking 1.2 billion charge. Amazon, I talked about Amazon last week. Um, some of the information is not so updated, but the entire articles are on here. Crypto.com cut 50 jobs. When a lot of that, a lot of the trend is going down, you guys can kind of see that there's a layoff that's coming, right? Because when companies are not doing well in their earnings, you can kind of see the next trend is cutting costs from the team, um, project execution, maybe project delayed, canceling contracts, so on and so forth. They would be until the very end because I will show you the graph of the causes of layoff. Coinbase information, I talk about Coinbase a lot. Coinbase actually pay their employees really well. They were doing extremely well um, for a long time, but then again, everyone is affected. This is not just Coinbase. Uh, they slash 18% of its workforce um, to manage costs after growing too quickly. I talk about Salesforce being one of my favorite CRM system, cutting 10% of uh, the cost, reducing office space. As part of the restructure, restructuring plan, the company announced on June 4th earlier this year um, because they have employed more than 79,000 workers as of December. So they didn't exactly stop hiring. They have been hiring. They just want to put a halt to it. Um, Spotify, 10% of global workforce, which the stock price went down 78% percent on Shopify. Netflix, 450 jobs cut, which is not bad at all. It announced another 300 layoff. They're still in the hundreds, not in the thousands and hundreds of thousands layoff, okay? Netflix is actually one of the thing company that is still doing fairly well. If you're working remote or you're getting laid out, what do you do with your time? Don't lie, guys. I spend a lot of my time on Netflix as well. Robinhood, 1,100 jobs cut. There are some new names on here. Tesla, 6,000. Let's talk a little bit about Tesla and Elon Musk. Wrote an email. If you're interested to read the email from Elon, you can click on this link. There's also a Wall Street article about his thoughts of the reductions about 6,000 employee and base of the public filing. Moving forward, let's go with the two key reasons. I want to talk about this. Apple, I talk about Apple positively last week because Apple is an employer that's very impressive to me right now. I talk about Apple investing their headcount in hiring uh, and bringing more diversity, hiring like a woman women in tech, just women in general, all types of diversity hiring. Last week, I talked about um, Apple hasn't really focused on the mass layoff like a lot of these tech companies yet. There's two reasons why. I'm trying to laugh, but I'm really not laughing, right? Look at this. Look at this right here. There's really no such thing as a free lunch. If you look at one of the first thing companies to get laid off, which is Meta Facebook and then Google following along, those two are very generous, right? Meta and Facebook focus on employee happiness. They pretty much wine and dine you on, bra uh, on breakfast, on campus, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You have your own barista, okay? You have booze. You have happy hour. It, it felt like every Friday when I was at um, Facebook. Love it. You know, the culture is there. So those two fan companies focus a lot on their employee happiness and spending a lot of money, even daycare, that's crazy. Meta Facebook offered daycare the time that I was there, okay? So 
Um, they, they, you know, obviously when you're spending so much money on your own employee, and those are also the highest paying company in the world. Like I've said, they treat the employees very well. Okay. And those two companies, one thing in common, which is investing on employee happiness, but they only generate revenue on one large stream, which is advertising. So here's really the ultimate reason why Apple has avoid the mass layoff because they don't offer free lunch. You could read a lot more about the articles in Wall Street Journal in relating to Apple where they're at, but their stocks is actually uh, doing pretty well right now. This is interesting here because after the pandemic, they're actually offering $1,000 home office um, for you to return to work and also virtual cooking classes. I think Apple is trying to make it more employee friendly, especially during a remote uh, time during the pandemic or in a sense we're kind of still in the pandemic right moving along to my last is right here i really want to show you guys this this is what i look at every single morning really on my second monitor this screen is usually always up because i like to pay attention to what fall who's falling who's rising okay that's letting me know um what company i should follow and where you should spend your money on stocks which right now i wouldn't advise anyone to do so you can see right here, Netflix by the second is still doing well. They are 6.5% up. Um, their last quarter's earning is actually pretty well. You can read all this information here. I don't have to read it word by word. If you come down here, guys, this is what I want to show you guys. Over here, um, Meta, thank God, is up 0.5% but everyone else is dropping, right? Amazon, Tesla, Google, Apple is really the only thing company that's still doing fairly well, okay? Let's take a look at that, the big piece of the pie right here, inappropriate use of work time and internet connection. So basically, um, one of the reasons of the layoff, this is back in the last recession. I'm gonna talk about the last recession and then today, the difference between the two, okay? Again, this is 20, um, 2009 to 2011, the last recession. Basically, biggest piece is in blue. Inappropriate use of work time and internet connectivity. The second re re uh, reason is company or its management team. I think managed team is usually really the number one priority. The second piece of the pie is 16%. Violation of, of internal corporate regulations. Purple right here is search for a new job with lack of salary and growth, okay? I think that should be like one of the top reasons, but hey, that's just me. Irresponsible handling of confidential data, 8%. I'm actually really shocked to see that. Industrial favor of com uh, competitors, be really going to the competition is the orange. Kickbacks and bribery, 5%. This is interesting data, guys. Extended mass layoff reason by separation, 2009 to 2011. This is just a better graph or better view for you guys you can kind of see the, the difference between the year. I wanted to compare that with today, which is 2022, 2023, okay? But the bottom line is, it sounds like work-life balance, lack of growth, and just not, not use of uh, employees' time, right? So here's the graph that I'm most interested in. If you take a look at this graph here, Tracking tech layoff in 2022, you can see the trend all the way through, even in 2023. Um, the number, depending on companies, right, is still the same, like Meta, Meta laying off 11,000 is still the same as of today. Amazon laying off uh, 10,000 employees is actually 18,000 employees at 1.2% of the company. Um, and Twitter, 50% of the uh, workforce, so on and so forth. I want you guys to see this graph because as you are looking at your dream company, the employee you wanted to work for, you if you're really interested in the company, you have to look at the team of uh, the team that's doing the layoff. And you can read a lot of this article on the first uh, link that I've presented to you guys. OK, so go back to that sometime this week. Once I have the video updated, you can look at those links to see what organization or team is laying off and which one are still hiring with your dream company, okay? Um, with that said, there's still a lot of movement within Amazon and within Amazon, I see hiring in security, infrastructure, um, cloud, in, mainly in the cloud space, AI, ML, and engineering. So I see a lot of the tech opportunities within Amazon and I don't really hear a whole lot of um, hiring pause or freezes inside AWS. In fact, everyone who told me that they're moving forward with an offer or start dates 
are from AWS, okay? With this graph, just showing you guys across US what industry are doing the most layoff. The first one is healthcare, finance, and marketing. At the very bottom, I find it's interesting. The first one is recruiter and sales folks being first two, <laughs> um, being one and two, okay? Again, this is most layoff in the U.S. Recruiting and sales are generally the first to go because when organizations are laying off, you don't need to hire. You know, they're not exactly generating sales either, but they're focusing on keeping good salespeople, which is number two on our list on the very bottom in pink. So those are the folks who are first to go, right? HR recruiting sales. I am surprised to see infrastructure number eight right here because I would think that during the, the time of holding off budget, infrastructure, technology, technology or data center, it's probably the ones who are holding back on laying off, not being somewhat in the middle. To show you how to job search, but I'm looking at remote job, go to job on LinkedIn, over here, remote jobs, I program manager, it's remote, so it really does not matter what state, correct? Um, let's just say I live in, I'm very close to Phoenix, Arizona, let's just say United States. So here it is. There are 40, over 44,000 remote position in the U.S. Senior program manager, Indiana, remote position at Microsoft. Yes, Microsoft is holding off some hiring, but depending on what role. Again, guys, don't freak out because a lot of the employers are laying off. Look within. I talked about infrastructure, did I not, earlier? I talked about infrastructure is a big time tech as far as the industry. I don't know why it's not mentioned more often. You know, infrastructure reminds me of cloud. Um, cloud computing, everybody needs cloud, everything is on the internet or internet of things. So I don't see them holding back at all in that space. Okay. There's a lot of employer here. I'm not going to read every single one. Um, there's TPM product. There's a lot of position. Okay. But we also see Zillow here. Their primary competition is hiring for a principal program manager. So there's still a lot of stuff guys on here. Okay. Adobe is hiring. I talked about Adobe a few weeks ago and then the list goes on and on. But guys, what I wanted to show you is that there are right here over 44,000 results. Okay. Hopefully this session is helpful to you guys. And if you find my content valuable to you, don't forget to hit subscribe.